Hi, Cancer. This is a general reading for the sign of Cancer. If you have Cancer anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Cancer. Also, Cancer, thank you for your likes your shares and your subscribes. That really does help get the message out. It helps grow my channel. And more importantly, I think that it is a wonderful way to put out good positive karma into the universe. And we all like that good positive karma. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Cancer. Also, Cancer, this week you still may be feeling the effects of the full moon lunar eclipse. The, we can expect to feel that for the next week or two, depending on where the moon falls in your birth chart. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, this week the moon will be in the waxing gibbous state. When the moon is in the waxing gibbous phase, we do practice gratitude. Our perception of life is subjective to our thoughts and the words that we use. The words that we use when we speak to ourselves, the words that we use in our thoughts. When we practice gratitude or we practice a gratitude ritual, our awareness shifts from what we do not want to what we do want. So I will post in the description box a quick little gratitude ritual you may like to try or to add to your daily practice. That is a little simple two little minute ritual or just something really quick to really help practice to get our thoughts moving to one that we practice gratitude. And the foundation, the basis of this reading is the Eight of Cups, and it's pushed by the Strength card. And so the Eight of Cups, if we look closer at the person in this Eight of Cups, we see him moving towards the mountains, moving towards the great unknown, and really leaving behind the Eight of Cups. And so this person has experienced a degree of success, a degree of comfort and a degree of happiness but he's also reached a point or a time or a stage in his life where he's searching he's seeking for deeper meaning um, for deeper connection and let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading here cancer and we start off with the judgment card here in your public life, in your professional life, in your career life, or your finances. We see the seven of pentacles, the king of pentacles, which is the richest card in the deck, and the queen of cups, who has really reached a degree of success and a degree of comfort. Let's see. Are you speaking a public speaking? A convention? A group of people? A form of communication? Speaking to people? Convention? A group of people? A 
a group job interview, a group interview where you speak and people are going to be impressed with the words that you use and how you handle yourself. You handle yourself with a high degree of professionalism. You handle yourself with comfort and ease. You handle yourself that is perfect a good fit for what the topic is, what the situation is. This meeting, this talk will lead to advancement. Advancement, and we see advancement, and we have the richest card in the deck, so it's going to be very financially or very tangibly rewarded. It could be the corner office, it could be the office that you want the location that you want. It will make you very comfortable. Very comfortable. But I think that this advancement does have you moving into the unknown and this advancement does have you leaving behind something that has been rewarding and something that has been comfortable but you are moving on to bigger and better things and that is driven by the strength card here and that strength card is telling me that you have everything that you need to succeed in this do not have those sleepless nights. Do not stress about this cancer. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Trust your inner wisdom. Trust your inner knowledge. When we're trusting our inner wisdom and we're trusting our uh, intuition, there's no need to stress. There's no reason for those sleepless nights. In your private life, there's that Ace of Pentacles, financial gift, financial reward, inner, trusting your inner wisdom, moving on to calmer waters. There's going to be a major change, a major change in plans. You have something very well planned out. You have something very well thought out or something that you thought was a given. But it's not going to work out. Plans are going to change. Plans are going to change in your favor. Things don't always work out the way that we would like them to, but things work, have a way of working out how they, things, things do not always work out the way that we would plan them, but they always work out to how they were meant to be. And so this change of 
plans, this unexpected is going to be a journey through quiet waters. And again, if we look even closer at these cards, we see the quiet journey into the mountains, the quiet journey into the great unknown. And it's not about the destination, Cancer. It is about the journey for you. And this is a journey of introspection. This is a journey of learning more about your true self and aligning with your life's purpose, aligning with your soul's mission. That is what this journey is. And Spirit is giving you the strength of guidance. I will also let you know, Cancer, that the sun has moved into Scorpio. And with that sun in Scorpio, we will find that our passions and our desires are heightened. Our energy will shift towards strength and resolve. And we will have the resources that we need to face our fears and not shy away from the unknown. And here I, I see you not shying away from the unknown. And that is a beautiful and wonderful journey, Cancer. And in final thoughts, final messages, we have the queens. We have all, three queens here in your reading, but in your final thoughts, we have the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands. And if we look at this queen of pentacles, we can see that she is appreciating and she is practicing gratitude. And when we look at the queen of wands, we see that she has mastered her energy, mastered her emotions, and is really sitting on her throne in great peace and tranquility. And here we see the happily ever after and the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is slow thoughts, slow words. And Cancer, defeat is a tool that lets us know we are not on the right path. Source has bigger and better plans for us. And so I see that there is a defeat, but this defeat is aligning you towards your right path, towards what is meant for you. And I do believe that it starts with the practice of gratitude here, especially when I see that Queen of Pentacles. Do visit the description box and see if you would like to maybe try that gratitude ritual. And please leave in the comments section one thing that you are grateful for. I think the comment section is also a wonderful place to practice that gratitude. Thank you, Cancer. You have a blessed week.